hello students today i will take eighth problem on central topic so again we have an unsymmetrical composite area and we have to find its centroid and all dimensions are in mm so in this problem again x axis and y axis are given to us so we have to give the coordinates of its centroid with respect to these two axes only so what is the first step first step is divide this composite area into regular areas so what we can do we can sketch one hidden line here one dash line so in this manner we will get a triangular area over here and a rectangular area over here so if i add these two areas we will get this composite area so we have divided this composite area into two areas one is triangular area second is rectangular area so first step is to divide this composite area into regular areas so we have considered one triangular area and one rectangular area then second step is find their individual centroids so let us first find the centroid of area one that is triangular area so it is a right angle triangle it means what we will do in order to find its centroid we will consider this side as base first that is 150 as the base and this side as the height so if we are considering this as base this side will become height so height over here is 300 so in case of triangular area what we do from base we draw one line which will be parallel to its base and distance between the line and the base will be equal to h by 3 where h is the height of the triangle height of the triangle in this case will be 300 it means we will sketch one line here somewhere over here so this distance from this base will be at h by 3 so how much is h h in this case is 300 so 300 by 3 so after this we will consider this side of the triangle as base then this side will become height so from base we will draw another line and uh, that line will be parallel to that base and distance between that line and the base will be again equal to h by 3 now this time h is how much 150 so this distance will be 150 by 3 so intersection of these two lines will give us the centroid of area 1 so let us call this as g1 similarly uh, let us locate the centroid of area 2 area 2 is what it is an it is a rectangular area so we know in case of a rectangle centroid exactly lies in the center that means at l by 2 and b by 2 l is 150 it means this distance will be 150 by 2 and uh, b is 75 it means this distance will be 75 by 2 so let us label this as g2 so we are done with the, the second step that is location of individual centroids for area 1 and area 2 what is the third step third step is the calculation part so let us solve the first part first step in the calculation part so first step we will write area 1 so we have to do three calculations for area 1 first of all you have to find its area so that will be equal to half how much is the base let us consider this as base it is 300 so its height is how much 150 so from here we will get its area double two five double zero mm square then we will find x1 what will be what is x1 x1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from y axis that means this distance is x1 how much is this distance this we already know it is 300 by 3 that means it is 100 mm then we will find y1 what is y1 y1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from x axis means this distance is y1 so how to find this distance see total dist total distance this distance is 150 
from this distance we will subtract this distance that distance we know it is 150 by 3 we will get the remaining distance so y1 will be equal to 150 minus 150 by 3 so this will be equal to again 100 mm then we will do similar calculations for area 2 area 2 is a rectangular area so a2 will be length into width how much is length 150 width is 75 150 by 75 so this will be equal to 11250 mm square then we will calculate x2 what is x2 x2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is g2 from y-axis means this distance is x2 now you see if this is the length of 150 so this is how much 150 by 2 it means x2 is 150 plus 150 by 2 so that will be equal to 2 to 5 mm then we will find y2 what will be y2 y2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is g2 from x axis means this distance so how to find this distance from here from this axis up to this point it is 150 then after that this distance will be 75 by 2 so 150 plus 75 by 2 so this will be equal to 187.5 mm then third step will be calculation of x bar x bar will be equal to a1 x1 two areas are involved plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 so we are using positive sign in the denominator and denominator why because this composite area is obtained by adding triangular area and rectangular area so we have used positive sign so when you will put these values of a1 x1 a2 x2 a1 a2 in this formula you will get x bar as 141.67 mm and in the fourth step we will find y bar so y bar will be equal to a1 y1 again plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 so when you will put these values in this particular formula a1 y1 a2 y2 a1 a2 you will get y bar as 129.17 mm i hope this particular problem is clear to you thank you very much